Hi, Thomas. What are your thoughts on the Barnsley game a few days on, obviously, it wasn't it? Well, it was uh, disappointing to concede right at the last there, uh, but first game back for you from injury, I guess. Yeah, obviously it was disappointing at conceding towards the end of the game. It's always disappointing and you are always disappointed even if you win the game, let alone drawing or or losing the game. So, yeah, I think the the start of the game and everything was fine. Looking at it backwards on the video, uh, I think we did what we were supposed to do. And we scored two goals from two set pieces. Uh, so I would say we were 2 nil up quite comfortable and then I don't know what happened. But yeah, difficult game to play against opponent like that. You know, you, even if we played against uh, Conference South or someone someone like that, it would be difficult if if they go all out. You know, if they if they put eight players into our box, it's going to be always difficult. And they managed to score two goals. Big credit to them. And we have to learn from that. What was it like in the dressing room afterwards in terms of the, the overall feeling? Or was it, was it frustration, I guess? Well, was, you, it, was, you, it, was it a bit stronger? Was it anger? You, you know, don't really want to know yeah. how, how it was in there. But <laughs> but yeah, I think just natural natural reaction to disappointment, anger and stuff like that. Because you, you can't just come into a dressing room after drawing game that was that we were supposed to win and tap each other on the shoulder and say yeah let it go uh, we will win next one you, 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 you're you, not going to get anywhere with that attitude so naturally uh, we are winners and if we when we don't win uh, it's difficult to take on sometimes late goals can be um, real indications of how the season is going to go or, or things like that is there, is there a possibility that the, the squad will use this as a tool maybe or as a motivation and say listen we need to make sure this doesn't happen again or, or, or we need to up our standards is, is that is that how it will play out i would i would say in our defense uh as a team we or I, maybe i'm wrong but i can't remember last time we conceded like a really late goal yeah maybe in the last 10 minutes we did I mean, in the last couple of minutes when when we under pressure, so I wouldn't say that this is something that would be happening regularly, and and we have to work on it for weeks and weeks. Obviously, uh, just refreshing some basic basic defensive stuff so it doesn't happen again. But but I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, make a big deal of it. I would I would say yeah, it happened once. And as long as there is a long time uh, separating those times when it ha when it happens, because obviously uh, in football it will happen, uh, then uh, then I think it's fine. And, and you personally, obviously, you came back your first game back in the team for a while. Um, how did you feel afterwards? And are you are you one hundred percent fit again now? Your hamstrings all good? Yeah, hamstrings fine. I was more worried about my lungs. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I was trying not to do uh, some crazy stuff uh, in terms of running somewhere where I don't need to run uh, and, and, and things like that. And yeah, I was feeling the whole game fine in terms of hamstring and in terms of uh, lungs as well. So I would say, or oh, I would announce myself as a fully fit player. Yeah, you say there about your lungs. And people always talk about the intensity of English football and the championship. Is that a real factor when you come back from injury? Sort of the last 10 minutes of games, is it a little bit more difficult? Or, or because of the nature of how these games are, 100%? Yeah, it, all, it also depends what you're doing uh, whilst you're injured. Like obviously we've got loads of ways of how to, how to approach it. And, uh, and my way, even though it took a bit longer, but my way was to come back and uh, and be ready to to go straight into the team, straight into the game. So yeah, the uh, the recovery took a bit longer than, or oh, not a bit longer, almost twice, twice longer than I want it. But not every time is uh, about what I want. So yeah, it was a bit longer, but I was I was able to go straight back into the team, without 
being affected me my lung with, with my lungs and, and, and feeling my hamstring or anything like that. You had a new centre back partner there, Ashley Williams. I think that's the first time you guys have been in the, the back two or three there. What have you made of Ashley's arrival and how did how did it feel in that first game with him? He's obviously a, an experienced player as well. Exactly. You've asked the question and then you've answered it yourself. Uh, he's, you can see straight away how experienced he is and uh, and that's what he's doing on a pitch. He he doesn't need to do stuff that nobody requires, you know, because obviously he's done that for for years and years and now he he needs to consider that obviously he's not 22. Uh, so yeah, he's using his experience, and you can see then, and, and uh, we can learn from him because obviously he's been in the Premier League. Uh, I might have promoted twice to Premier League, but I've never been there basically, except two games. So uh, yeah, from him, I don't know how many games he's got there, but he already played over seven hundred or even, I don't know eight hundred games in his in his career. So um. Me personally, I'm quite far away from that, and and loads loads of other players are quite far from that. So it's just natural to learn from what he's doing, especially in defence. Huge game this weekend, then seven side derby against Cardiff City. What's going to be key to getting a win there? Uh, score more goals than them, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, like just we know we know Cardiff, or I think loads of teams. No Cardiff, but for some reason it's always difficult to play, play against them, and uh, and I don't expect anything else. It will be difficult. That they've got really good team as well, and really specific way how they play football. So we need to be as equally ready as they are, if not more. And uh, and try to win the game, no matter if we're playing home, uh, if we're playing away or home or or anywhere else. Bit of added spice because obviously you've got Marlon Pack there, Aidan Flint and Lee Tomlin, former Bristol City players there as well. It will be, uh, but I'll, I'll I'll see them as as someone who I played played with before. Obviously, I didn't play with Aidan, but I played with uh, Tomlin in Middlesbrough, uh, with Marlon in here. So yeah, it will be nice to see them, but they're playing for Cardiff, we're playing for Bristol, so yeah, we can be friends after the game, but so, that's all. So no banter so far between between some of those guys and between them? Um, there might be, I'm not involved in that, so I, I, yeah. can't, I can't really tell. Nice one, that's it for me. Huh? How have you been through the recovery? Um, is, it, like, is this the worst injury you've had? Yeah, probably longest in my yeah. career. And what's, what's been for you personally or mentally? Yeah, well, it it looked like it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be okay much earlier, uh, because the way it was going, like first two weeks, and I was doing stuff that people don't do after three weeks, and 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 like that, so I was really optimistic, and then suddenly, uh, it stopped the healing. As quick as it was the first ten days, let's say, so. Uh, yeah, it was frustrating because I was already in my head planning uh, when I'm going to be back, like how many games I'm going to miss because I didn't want to miss any game if I if I didn't have to. And uh, yeah, at the end it was mu much more games than uh, what I expected. It was, it was much longer than what I expected. So, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is just to get back and uh, and make sure that it doesn't happen again straight away and it didn't so I would say Barnsley was kind of a test for my hamstring as well. <coughs> what were you doing to <coughs> obviously there was lots of rehab work in terms of in the gym I mean what were you doing to like, occupy yourself on a Saturday? Well Saturday was usually session in the morning and then going to the game support the boys so actually Saturdays were the, the busiest days oh, okay. <laughs> of yeah. of the whole week because I, it was literally from training ground straight to the to to Ashton Gate if it was a home game so yeah but in any other day like I wasn't leaving earlier than than the last that are not injured or that were not injured 
uh, that wouldn't make sense, would it? If you if you're working on getting back, you have to stay there a bit longer uh, than than everyone else. So yeah, the the days were a bit longer at the training ground, but not 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 by much. And uh, and yeah, so I was still between the boys. I I wasn't separated from them, which was nice. Uh, it was just frustrated when I when they were leaving for a pitch and I had to stay in the gym. Yeah, I mean, in terms of watching games, is that how are you? Yeah, I, even though I had <clears throat> hamstring problems, I was kicking people in front of me. So I'm sorry to. Oh, sorry for kicking anyone who was sitting in front of me. <laughs> uh, so. So yeah, obviously I would love to be in every game uh, on the pitch and helping the boys, but I couldn't. So that was probably the most frustrating uh, stuff. And uh, when I've entered or when I think when everyone enters a uh, stadium and uh, and they are injured, then that's like when they realize how much it's like how much it means for them to to be on the pitch and yeah. and and play for the team. Um, you touched on Ashley playing alongside um, Ashley and said about his experience and what he did. I mean, what is it? <coughs> is it what specifically does he do that you think yourself, Taylor, um, Nathan can learn from? It's quite difficult to to explain because I'm I'm not gonna tell you that that he can uh, kick the ball further than than everyone else or or. Or hit something on on a short distance, ma- yeah. many many times or much more times than us. It's difficult to explain it, but you actually like looking at him and and tell yourself that whatever he does or most of the stuff what he does is probably right, mm. because if he wasn't doing the right stuff, he wouldn't have had a career mm. that that he had already. So, so yeah, it's it's more like an inspiration. Because yeah, if I had a career like him, I w- I would be quite quite happy with myself. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. There's been um, some concern over the sort of general defending around set pieces. Um. Talking from fans. Um. Where do you th- what do you think's sort of happened there in terms of? City were once you know very good sort of defensive team. Set pieces was for three goals in the last two. Yeah. I know you weren't part of the Wigan um, game. Is that something you worked on specifically this week? Uh, obviously, you've got slightly different team. Uh, you don't have you who who you've got in defense who played in that team. Uh, previously, I think no one or almost no one. And yeah, I remember Bristol from a few years ago when defending their set pieces was was one of the most difficult things to do in 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 the whole league basically. But yeah, we've got a slightly different team we're playing a bit more football than than Bristol played uh, a few years ago I hope I'm not gonna offend, offend anyone uh, by saying that but I think it's uh, it's nicer football than it was so it's slightly different approach but I would say well, our last three goals that we scored are from set pieces but we were conceding uh, from set pieces quite a lot as well so yeah that's something to work on but it's pretty much simple. It's it's just we need to get in sync all together on the pitch and just help each other. Uh, if somebody's struggling with someone, just switch with him or or just give somebody. So you do you, you do man mark on is man marking on corners? Yeah. Yeah. There's no zonal aspect to it. As long as I know. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just a question because like, <laughs> yeah. no, I've watched a couple of games and there's always like one person almost like in the centre, almost as if they were obviously marking runners coming in. Yeah, obviously, when when it's really crowded, uh, then you have to choose slightly different way because if you've got someone, and especially when it's your your own teammate uh, in your way, then it's quite easy for the striker to run around them, and you have to go straight, and you would hit your own player or or the opponent player so then when they are really in a crowded area then you just make sure that you know who's going to the front post back post uh, middle of the goal for example if it's free against free just to make sure that you don't hit each other 
uh, you don't block each other and uh, you can you can just care about the player that's coming into your area instead of following your man everywhere where he goes but that's only when uh, when they choose to start from a really tight area so a, a, a kind of the team confident <coughs> Sunday because obviously Cardiff are a physical team we talked about Flint in terms of his Sol I don't know if he's going to be back but there's some big guys in that team who are clearly going to be targeting that area of field are you guys kind of confident that that's been worked on and sharp obviously done? it's going to be uh, our task to not give them that many opportunities to to put the ball in the box and it doesn't really matter if it's going to be from set pieces or from open play so as long as we're going to have the ball uh we can be quite confident as long and as if we if we start playing their way and their football it then it's going to be really difficult because they they can outpower us with the height and and probably the strength uh but yeah obviously we're going to play uh the way that we know how to play and hopefully it will be enough or i i believe it will be enough